Nope. <laughs> okay, great. Um, so if you guys are all set, um, the next voice that you're going to hear is the First Ladies. And just a reminder that time is really tight here, so especially since you want to do the drop at the end, we really have to stop uh, at five minutes. So please keep an eye on the clock. No problem. You time it? Okay. Great. Then I will turn it over to Mrs. Obama. <gasps> Good morning. It's Michelle Obama. How are you all doing? Oh, Good wow. Morning. Michelle. Good morning. How are you? Ah, uh, doing great. Good to hear your voices. Oh, likewise. Good to hear your voice. It's an honor to have you on the show. Well, I am honored to be here. This is an important time, so I'm, yes, I'm glad is. you all are focused on, on voter registration. Yes, Good. we are. But before we get into that, uh, Mrs. Obama, happy anniversary to you and the president. Yes. Happy Thank anniversary. You. That is very sweet of you. <laughs> I see you celebrated <laughs> at the debate last night. Oh, we partied it up at the debate. Can yeah. you tell? Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> so what did you what did you think about the debate? You know, I continue to be so proud of, of my husband. Um, you know, he he has shown a level of calm and poise. It's always so presidential. You know, he he, he laid out a clear uh, vision uh, for keeping this country on track uh, that does not overly burden working class folks and middle class people. Uh, but continues to grow this economy. You know, he, he laid it out in a way that just lets us all know he's somebody that we can trust, uh, somebody who's always going to be fighting for us. So, you know, I, I am always proud of my husband, the way he can Aww. handle himself. I mean, you know, he took in a co this country, this economy that was on the brink of economic collapse, uh, where we were losing 800,000 jobs every single month. That's what welcomed him to the White House. And we've grown that through a lot of struggle uh, and, uh, and, uh, and standing up to a lot of people uh, to make sure that we have an economy that's on track. 30 consecutive months of job growth, 5.1 million new jobs in this economy. The auto industry is back on its feet. Um, we've got health care for people who didn't have it before, and we all know somebody in our lives who is benefiting from health reform. So, you know, I, you know, he has just handled himself with all of the poise and, and class and grace that I always knew he had, because that's who he's always been for the last 23 years that I've known him. He has been that man. Great, great, great. Now, Michelle, my question is this. Uh, you know, with the election fast approaching, approaching, with all the voter suppression that's going on, especially all the things that's going on down here in Florida, there's a lot of young people listening right now that are apprehensive about voting. What could you tell them? Because a lot of them feel like that their vote does not count, especially with all the issues that we've had down here with uh, with voting in Florida in the past. What what I have said and, and what, I, what I want young people to understand do never, never, ever let anybody intimidate you out of your voice in this democratic process. The truth of the matter is that voting in this country and even in the state of Florida is still relatively easy. Um, and voter registration ends soon. It ends in the state on Tuesday, October the 9th. That's the most important thing for young people to know. Uh, but I also want to remind people, our young people, that we have folks who fought and bled and died for us to have the right to vote. And it is the most powerful nonviolent tool for change that this democracy has. And th their voice actually matters. I mean, one of the things I've been pointing out in my stump speeches is that when you look at 2008 and the margin of victory in states like Florida and North Carolina, you know, in North Carolina, Barack won that state by just 14,000 votes. And when you break that out across precincts, that's just five votes per precinct. Wow. Just five votes. Hmm. So every young person who's listening to me who's not registered, they know that they can be the difference in this election. Well, you they, they will be the difference in this election. And if they sit out, then they're essentially handing over the decisions about their lives to other people who may not even know their struggles, mm -hmm. to people who don't even know what it's like to, to not have the money to go to college, who don't know what it's like to be unemployed and rely on employment insurance, yeah. people who don't know what it feels like not to have health insurance and to not get the care you need or to see a loved one go and who has cancer not be able to get the treatment they need because they don't have health care or being sent to fight in a war where they don't have the equipment and they're not coming back home to the support that they need. Those are the decisions that are made in the ballot box. Um, and young people who sit out are basically handing that decision over to other folks. And we can't afford to do that. 
You know, and it's not just about this election. It's about every single election. So we want our young people in the state of Florida, to get in the, within the sound of this voice, my voice, to get up today and go get registered to vote. And if they need help on figuring out where to go, they can go to gotavote.com. That's a website that gives everybody anywhere in the country the information they need. I know they can call up this radio station and get help from you guys. Yeah, they all can. So thorough. So, you know, just reach out. They can go to the many Obama campaign offices. I know we have many throughout the state of uh, uh, Florida in Miami. Um, so don't. You know, don't wait till the last minute. Now is the time to get registered. Um, and then once you get registered, make your voice heard. Get to the polls. Early voting starts in Florida on October 27th. So people don't even have to wait until Election Day. They don't, they don't have to rely on that one day when maybe your car breaks down or you're sick or you had to go to work when you didn't think you did or you don't have child care. You don't have to wait and rely on that one day. You have an entire week uh, to actually make your voice heard. Uh, you know, let me just say before I get off the phone, I know, I understand that Africa, you just have a loss. And I know you're just coming back. And I just want you to know that we're proud of you. Um, and hang in there. Do your job. Represent. Okay? Thank you so much. And that we're praying for you and your family. Okay? Thank wow. you. Got a lot of people who awesome. support you, babe. Wow. Thank, thank you so much. That's great. Okay. Oh, my God. Very classy. Thank you so Thank much, Miss First Lady. All right. Take or, care. Or as I like to call you, Your Majesty. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait. Can, can I just call you Shelly Shell? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. You all take care. Right. Oh, Bye-bye. my God. That's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. End, it, end it right there. Do it. Wow. Make sure. Well, you're not. Oh. Yeah. What? Wow. I just made a song cry. That's yeah. awesome.